My name is Greg Hitchon. Uh, I am a software developer of an engineering company in Canada, and we have been working on a uh, workflow engine uh, to do a variety of things. And that includes, so uh, basically we want to solve technical problems as well as business related problems. Um, and we need to support human interaction, so task-based work, task work. Um, access to protected resources, so accessing the graph, um, creating files, deleting files, whatever. Um, and some key goals we had here was to have both a hybrid workflow where we could have low code uh, by, by default and then drop into more of a code-based uh, solution where required, and then also hybrid form. So have a ability to have a, a simple low code form and then drop into a, a more complex form where required. So some examples of these problems are creating technical reports, uh, business side, like a vacation request, onboarding process, um, and some existing products to this would be like temporal.io, some BPMN type engines, Intex, Power Automate. So all of these are great solutions. And as as is classic in, in software development, we were like, you know what, we're going to do something different. So, um, but we're, we didn't rebuild, you know, any of these. So how do we do this? Uh, Basically, our stack here from the UI side, all, all this is very Microsoft centric. So, um, using SPFX, React uh, for for the the UI, basically building a little website inside of SharePoint, uh, Fluent UI, PMP stuff, uh, using React Query and React Router uh, for our data and API call management, and then React Router for our navigation. Um, and form-wise, we have uh, the adaptive cards we're using for our low-code solution to forms, and then React Hook Form uh, is just a, a library within React, and we're using that for our more complex um, forms. And for workflows, we're using XState, which is um, shifted over, like they created a new company, Stately, and they're doing all sorts of good stuff there in the last year or so for our low code, and then durable functions for our more complex stuff. And then data access, we're using ASP.NET Core, uh, low data API. Um, so that's basically it. And then within SharePoint Framework, um, we've been working on this since the early days of SPFX, but lately, uh, you know, with the improvements in, um, you know, React has hooks and all this stuff. Um, it's been it's been um, beneficial. We found like the the React faster stuff is is really helps in, in a workflow when you have a more complicated uh, web part. So uh, since the early days, uh, the the whole stack is has gotten a lot nicer, and we have like the CI CD stuff. So uh, everything is uh, at this point fairly fairly clean. Um, so let's do a demo. So what what does this look like? So um, we have a couple of just simple simple demos here. So this is uh, just a, an app page that that we have, um, and this is a generic sort of list that um, has uh, configured for different entities. So these are very similar. There's some changes in the the naming and stuff, which is configurable. And basically, when we create a new uh, app. Uh, just can reuse a lot of this, and it's just a very generic thing. So, what does this do? So, to create, so th this is example is just for a uh, for a document review request, but really it's just a, a sample. There, there's not much in this in this workflow, um, but this form is is customized. So, you know, you can have any any inputs you want into uh, into this. So we're going to submit this document. So let's say I'm, you know, uh, a person submitting some document for request or for review. I might have some additional fields here. Um, this then will populate. And what's happening in the background here is just some some API calls, and then X state is running. Um, you know, getting some events, persisting some state, um, and then durable functions is is also kicking in to create some uh, create some records in a database. Um, so. We can look at this and we've created a task. So all this stuff is, is just task-based. So we've created a task, has some, some properties. And what we also should get here is, is an email. So this email is using a 1-4 adaptive cards. Um, and so here we have some some simple um, some simple inputs. Uh, we can see there's some some validation here. So one of the nice things about 1-4 adaptive cards is you have this validation, which is blessed, and you don't have to worry about you know, sending it back to the server and then adjusting and then sending it back, which was a pain. Um, so so we get this card with this task that we can fill out directly in the email. Um, and then we also have um, within SharePoint, uh, we can we can see we render the same the same card. So basically 
really this this is just a again sort of hybrid approach where if, if we're working within SharePoint or, or Teams for that matter, we can just fill this in directly. We don't have to recode another form for the different environments. So um, we can submit this. Um, So you can submit this from from within um, within SharePoint, um, and there's a bit of a difference with one four in terms of the updating, which still haven't figured out cleanly. Um, if you want to return like a refresh card, it refreshes once automatically, and so if there is a lag in between, like um, when the data is getting updated, uh, this this won't get updated right away. Um, so once it does, though, we get this refresh card, and we, we can see our, our comments here. Um, and then also here, if we refresh from within SharePoint, obviously we see we see the same same comments um, and then this workflow is going to you know update and status it's going to be complete whatever so that's kind of an example of of using the low code form approach um, and then this start card so this is more uh, of, a, of a business process that um, we're actually using so we can add in uh, you know air some some photos and uh, a bunch, bunch of data. And this, this again, the, the, this is something that you can't do in, in adaptive cards right now, for instance, like upload a file. So we can't do this directly in, in the email. So we need to drop into like React, um, you know, hook forms to, I mean, you could do any framework, but we have to drop into SPFX uh, to do this. And so here there's, there's no tasks within this little workflow. Uh, basically all we're expecting here is for uh, this, this card to get submitted um, and then once this workflow completes, it, it'll just send us an email uh, with uh, with with a PDF of of that that card. So if we look at the workflow here, uh, we can see this is this has completed. Um, and if we go in and, and look at it, we can see some of the data that uh, that we've we've submitted, and then um, get a, a message here with with like a PDF. And and this is happening in in the durable functions world where we're taking that data, generating a PDF in like an async fashion, and then once that's completed, we're we're sending this email. So. Um, Obviously, here these are very simple, uh, very simple workflows. Uh, but the I mean, we have a number of them that are also quite complex. Lots of approval stuff. You, know, you can have drop downs, approve, reject, all all this stuff. Um, and and yeah, so that is that. Um, and let's take a quick look at some of the like what some of this code looks like so for instance this code is for that start card submission that we we just did um, so you can see it's pretty simple so we've abstracted some of the um, complexity of the form stuff and just just put it into you know these these text inputs so basically we can spin up like a, a simple form for for grabbing some data pretty quickly like there, there's not a whole lot going on here um, and then this just drops into the that that generic sort of framework. Um, in terms of the low code stuff, uh, so this is similarly what this looks like in the uh, adaptive cards world. So you can see there's some air handling, and we have just like a JSON type uh, schema. We can also just design this in the designer. So this is something that is a lot easier to design because you have a visual designer, and and then you can tweak it a little bit um, uh, for any customizations. Um, and then in terms of the workflow, so XState looks something like this. Again, it's JSON and there isn't an, an editor now live for, for XState. So there's a visual editor that you can scaffold out your workflows in and then convert them um, into or, or drop in little snippets into your actual code base. Um, and so this this invoke is invoking a like an API call basically, which which then uh, kicks off some some additional uh, work. And this is the sort of code side of the workflow. So this is C sharp. This is in durable functions. Um, and you can see here, like uh, this is just a sample example where you get some data from, uh, from a task. So you wait for some event, get in some some input from an email, for instance. And then if you can, you can do anything. So if you wanted to do uh, some specific thing in code that you didn't want to or couldn't handle in the in the you know JSON sort of stuff, then you can do any kind of logic you want here and then take any kind of action so this is all in c sharp so you know for creating pdfs or like accessing some data i mean it's all very very straightforward and there's a lot of a lot of resources around um around that so that is 
that is pretty much it. One other thing that um, is is of interest uh, is this details list. So this is something that took a while to get to get right. Um, and the details list in in Fluent UI is is a pretty it's a pretty beastly thing. There's a lot going on in terms of configuration. So one thing that uh, was was useful early on, and I would definitely suggest doing, um, is we, we created a, a wrapper, and then we created another wrapper on top of this wrapper actually um, to to abstract away some of that complexity. So um, where you have uh, some of these lists, like I mean, all all of these are 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 using that that list, and and you can have some different views and stuff like that, and and different search and and refresh and, and whatnot. So this this list uh, component is was 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 pretty useful in terms of just uh, putting together a UI that that made sense. Um, yeah, and that is uh that's pretty much it. So uh, that is um and yeah, that's that's all. So um, stay happy, stay beautiful, and thank you for uh, thank you for watching and listening. Thanks, Greg. Great stuff. Exciting to see that demo. Thanks for coming and sharing it with us. Really neat uh, use of a lot of different techniques there. So I hope folks can check that out. Mm -hmm.